every time we would hang out, we would always talk about the future, talk about life. And he always told me that he knows he's going to find the one. I'm horrible at speeches. But I'll share a story about David. Um, the day he met Mercedes. We were already in bed, and then I hear a knock on my door. It was about 10 o'clock. I was like trying to fall asleep. Here comes David, right? He goes inside, and he's like, Mom, Mom, I went on a date. I said, you did? Yes, I met the one. I said, you did? Yes, I'm going to marry her. Today was our first date. I remember when Mercedes called me after she met David for the first time. She was so excited. And she said, babe, he's a feeler. <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh to myself as I always told Mercedes that she needed a feeler just like her. saw your picture David she goes mom mom she goes, what do you think what do you think and I go I can't see his face he's got a baseball cap on because your pictures all had baseball caps on I go but he seems like a nice guy she goes well, I think I'm gonna have coffee with him I said okay and then she came home super thrilled and as you guys then we got to meet you at the coffee shop before church on a Wednesday night and amazing young man and then David came to us and asked us permission to ask her to be his girlfriend and that was an amazing dinner. For me, it's all about her and just spending this moment, you know, um, once in a lifetime, you know, it's not every day you get to marry your best friend. So it's really exciting just to, um, to make that covenant with, with my best friend.
I promise to think back to our first date and remember all of the reasons why I couldn't wait to get home and tell my parents all about you.